Hello, this is Paul Adams from Sophie's Limited. Uh, today we're going to be looking at LEDs and a specific a checklist for quality inspection and testing of LED products. Uh, we're going to be going through um, a specific checklist so you understand what is required and what you should know when ordering products from China. Uh, we're also going to be looking at um, an, an extract from an inse inspection report that we've carried out in, in the past for various different clients. Okay, so let's go in and have a look. In this section, we're going to be looking at the um, extract from the inspection report. So here we're going to be looking at the checkpoints. Uh, we can see here the description and the requ required result even. Um, we've also got the images of the products, and in this case, they are products that have failed. And uh, we can have a look at some more product uh, images uh, shortly. So let's have a look. Appearance of workmanship. This is one of the checkpoints we're looking at. And the product should comply with product specifications and with perfect samples, if any. In other words, if you have actually uh, received um, a perfect sample that you're happy with and you say, right, this is how I want my products, you would actually send us one or send one to the factory and say, right, this is the, the perfect or the golden sample. And we would reference against that point. Okay, And this is what we report our findings upon. And the required result would be the product should comply with the product specification, anything that you've written down in a product spec or against the actual perfect sample itself. So from an image point of view, you can see on the left-hand side was clearly a dirty mark on the product itself. And we've got a red arrow pointing that out. On the right-hand side, again, we've got a dirty mark or a scuff mark on a product. Um, a slightly different product there, a slightly different place. But again, it's a potential failure mode that we can actually highlight to you. And you can have a look at that and say, you know what, yeah, that's that's not acceptable. Okay, we can accept it. Um, so this is what we're highlighting. Let's have a look at another example. So here the checkpoint is app check. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've downloaded the specific app that you've developed or using for the product itself. We're connecting that app to the product itself. And you can see here on the left-hand side that we're actually doing that. On the right-hand side, we are um, checking the product works with the app or making sure the app works with the product. In other words, uh, one is controlling the other. And the desired result is that the product should work uh, in, in line with the product specification. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing here. Uh, and you can see that clearly in the images of what we're doing. Color temperature check. This is fairly complex. and I'm going to be explaining it in a, in a totally separate video. But the description here is check. We need to check the color temperature on a number of different samples and report the findings to you. And the product could and should, sorry, not could, but should, comply with the product specification itself. Now on the left hand side you can see this particular graph and this is from uh, a software, the LED software that we're checking uh, the products against. On the right hand side we've actually zoomed into the results table and you can see the color, color temperature is showing up at 5694K. Now K in this case is Kelvin. Functional test. On the left hand side we've actually uh, using the app, we're going through the different app functions and just to make sure that the product is working correctly. Now, we're going to be using this in normal uh, use as it is intended for, for the mass production. Um, and we're going to be checking all of the functions and features to make sure that everything works according to the product specification. On the right hand side, again, we're, it's just another different um, part of the app itself. We're just scrolling through various different functions and just to make sure everything is fully functional. And we're going to report those findings to you in these reports. Extended functional test. On the left hand side here, we've got um, a, a bank of products all plugged in and it's going to be functioning. And what we're doing here is we're running these products for five hours, at least five hours, a minimum of five hours. And we're going to be checking during that time and after for after the five hours. Now, after that five hour period, everything should be functioning correctly as per specification. OK, that's the desired result. And again, on the right hand side, we can see a bank of products that are illuminated. In other words, switched on and then go through that the five hour life cycle while we're actually testing that. So this is the extended function test that we're, we're checking here. Internal checks. What we're doing with the internal checks, we're just opening up the product and we're making sure that everything is 
manufactured with good workmanship. In other words, uh, all of the solder joints are correct. All of the components are, are in place. Um, there's no bare wires. There's no strip wires or anything like this. So it's the workmanship itself we're actually checking uh, and we're reporting back on. And again, products should have no damage, odor or unsafe construction. Uh, when we're talking about odor, we're talking about um, sort of burning smells or anything like that. In this section, we'll be covering the product checklist itself. Now, before we go forward, I just want to explain that there's a number of different sections here. On the left-hand side, you can see the checkpoints themselves. In the center, we've got the description, which you can read. And on the right-hand side, we've got a guide for the technicians to follow when they're on site with respect to if they are finding a problem or an issue related to a specific checkpoint. They can cross-reference here to see which a category it falls into, either a critical, major, or minor. So let's have a look at the checkpoints themselves. I'm just going to fly through some of these. Um, and those that are highlighted in red, we've already covered in the previous section. Um, so appearance of workmanship, we've covered. Uh, net weight, that uh, sort of uh, speaks for itself. Dimensions, same thing there. Certificates, what we're doing with certificates is looking at um, different certifications for different products. In the LED case, we're looking for FCC, CE, and RO. HS and anything specific that you want us to check for um, with respect to your, your country that you're going to be selling in. Um, the app check, uh, we've had a quick look at that. Uh, the color temperature, I forgot to highlight that, um, but we've already covered that. The driver, we're looking at the driver for the LEDs themselves. The wattage, we're checking the wattage. And the functional test, we have already looked at. Let's look at the next page. The extended functional test we've checked. Um, the smell check, what we're doing here is just making sure that nothing's burning or, or, or overcooking um, when it's being used. Uh, the internal checks, we've had a look at some images there. Uh, the on-off check, what we're doing there is quickly turning the product on and off 10 times just to make sure there's no loss of function. Uh, and coating adhesion, what we're doing there is applying a 3M tape and making sure that when we pull that 3M tape off, um, the coating or the logos or anything are not being damaged. And the high pot test, uh, this is a critical one. Um, and you can see on the right hand side, it's a critical or a major. Um, and you can see here that we've got two different glasses, class one and class two are tested at different values. And there should be no flashover leakage or breakdown during the test or after the test. Uh, we've got the high and low temperature test, uh, which is testing at uh, sort of the both limits, high and low to limits. And the luminous efficiency as well. Again, there's quick calculations there and software we're using to verify uh, the LEDs conform um, to specifications. On the last one here, we're looking at critical component checks. Now, what we're doing is opening up the product itself and we're checking against the product specification data sheet. And we're checking that each of the critical components is as specified or required on that specification sheet. So with that in mind, what you need to do next is visit our product inspection solutions page, check out which solution you need from an inspection point of view and follow the steps there. It's very, very easy. In fact, there's a link right below this video. Go there now and check out which inspection you need for your product. Now, again, I'd just like to take this opportunity to remind you that Softeast has a vast amount of, of experience. Uh, we are on the ground. We are your guys on the ground in China. Uh, we have the expertise with respect to technicians and sort of field engineers that have covered LED and they know the, the products inside out. So you're in good hands when it comes to inspection of products. So thanks again for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Sophie's Limited.